Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through the new and improved shape builder tool in Affinity Designer version 2. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, you're going to want to select your uh, shape builder tool and then select your shapes that you want to edit. And then you're going to go over to your action button, which is going to be up in the top left. Um, if you click on the addition button right here, you'll see that the uh, shapes will come up in a blue highlight. And what this will do is it will combine those shapes together and remove the, the lines inside of it, like so. Or something like this. But if we do subtraction, you'll see it shows it, the highlight shows up red now. And it's going to take out all of the lines on the outside, like so. Or if you want just th this line gone, you can also select just the line. Um, if you want the whole circle going like that, there you go. Here's an example of just adding and subtracting like shapes together to manipulate it. So you could do this right here, uh, remove those lines by just adding, do the same thing right there. Okay. And then if you want to subtract, say we don't like this or this, you can take it out. You just select, you can either, um, select like the shape as a whole and I'll take it away or you can drag over it like so so say I click the this middle shape right here um nothing really happened right um or so you think it actually did get cut out um right here but that triangle shape that was right there uh that still has that line attached to it so um I just went back one so if we try to take this out now, it's still going to be there. But if we hit this, and then that, it's the middle shape's gone now. In this example, um, I'm going to try to make it, these rings wrap around each other, almost like like the Audi logo. So I'll click right here, drag right here, done with that. Click right here, oops, wrap around again, and then like so and oops as you can see there's th three rings interlocking each other now all you have to do is just go over the path and kind of play around with it it's pretty simple and for this example what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and kind of make it wrap around like an infinity almost and what I'm gonna do is clean up uh, press the clean up unused curves and the clean up unused area buttons so watch what happens when I do this like that. Boom. It just took away all those extra lines that are all on the outside and it gave me this. And if I don't want these little things in the middle, I can just delete them like so. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple. And we'll go back just to see if I don't have these on like this and I wanted to do what I, what I just did. Um, this is what it's gonna look like and you're gonna have to go in manually and take out all of this stuff and I don't know it's, it's kind of a pain let the program do the work for you if it's able to and it'll make it a lot smoother trust me last couple things I want to show you guys is you can actually use a shape builder tool in not just like shapes but uh, lines as well so all of these are just lines and you can actually go in and um, edit the boxes like so that I created so I want to make a cool little pattern like this I can do so so whatever lines or shape cross over each other that's gonna be able to be edited in the shape builder so don't limit yourself with just shapes or whatnot draw lines segment areas do whatever you need to do like here I'll do something right here right there and then We'll go back to the shape builder tool and now there's more sections that I can edit and whatnot so it's pretty cool mess around with it don't limit yourself to just shapes and this one over here it's gonna be pretty simple just like uh, trying to put together a cloud with these shapes right here so another example would be clean up unused curve and clean up unused areas to make this a lot quicker I'll just add all these together Boom, 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 boom. Make sure everything is selected. Boom. And then it just, everything else goes away basically and you're left with your image. Um, 
say you don't want that and you'd rather okay, let's take those off you select all these again like so have those done you have this now all you have to do is hit the subtract pretty simple so yeah that's all i got for you guys today if you liked the video please consider subscribing and dropping a like it really helps out the channel a lot um so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you